Hello, my name is Cheryl Cattell and welcome to today's LinkedIn Minute. I'm so glad you joined. Today, we're going to look at the use of infographics as a post. So what I recommend you do is to hop on over to Canva, my favorite place, and go ahead, if you don't have an account, sign up for a free account on the platform. All you have to give them is your email address, and after that, it's all up to you. You can start with some of the many thousand, 2073 to be exact, suggested templates. So by clicking on infographics and see all, you have the opportunity to scroll through and find a design that matches the information that you have collected about your industry or your profession or your client's pain points. Now, one thing I do want to recommend is if you can, try to stay away from the ones that have the little crowns on them. Those are the pay, paid subscribers. You have to be a Canva Pro. But you don't need to because there are literally thousands available that you don't have to pay for. So once you find one that sort of matches the kind of data you have, then you can click on it and edit it to make it your own. So you can see that they have some that are two, three, four slides. And this is an infographic with a slideshow. All right, so once you have that, then hop on over, create a post, and you can add a photo. So your infographic would be a photo in this case. Uh, let me show you, for example, one that I did and this is using a template on Canva. So here you can see, uh, I'm calling out some statistics and it's now dated uh, about LinkedIn and why it's probably time to jump in and take action. All right, well, that's it for today's LinkedIn Minute. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube to be notified of every new edition. Thanks for stopping by.